0879. Well, moving on, he is not a lawyer but a non rights activist. He is perhaps a Kenyan who has visited the corridors of justice more times than practicing advocates. Despite being elected as Busia senator in the August 9th elections, Okia Omtata is not about to let go of his quest for justice. In the 2022 presidential petition, Omtata is a petitioner and just like other cases, he is representing himself in court in a bid to overturn the election of William Ruto as president. Our reporter David Mudoka tells us the story of this man who has accomplished a feat many lawyers are yet to achieve. Take a look. At around 4.05 p.m. on Wednesday, which was the first day of the presidential petition hearing, the Supreme Court momentarily broke into a loud chatter. Gather because you're all seen it as your colleagues and friends now. <laughs> Yes, my Lord, Mr. Omtata is. The second's long excitement had been prompted by the invitation of activist Tokia Omtata to the stage to present his petition challenging President elect William Bruto's victory before the Apex Court. Unlike others before him who donned advocates' attire such as the barrister's gown and wig, Omtata's mode of dressing bucked the trend. In a broken suit that comprised of a blue blazer, a floral shirt, and a half smile on his face, Okia, however, went on to raise serious questions pertaining the manner in which the just concluded presidential election was conducted by the IEBC. It's not verifiable. Right now, I cannot verify where, where the voter, the ballots I cast went. I don't know. The moment I dropped them in that box, I lost all contact with those ballots. Using a table presentation, Okia claimed that the figures that IEBC used to declare Ruto president-elect were cooked. It is the same presentation that he used on Friday during his rejoinder. We were told about military precision. Military precision is the ability to shoot a bullet with a bullet. That's how a missile downs another missile. That is not what we are seeing here. In a span of just two days, he had taken to the big stage twice, a stage that has accommodated very few, if any, non-lawyers, a stage that is almost every lawyer's dream. And with a mix of numbers and the occasional law jargon, the Busia senator-elect appeared to prove why he deserved a spot to bask in the supreme limelight. But how did a non-lawyer get to share a stage with law's cream de la cream? Born in Teso South Busia, the county's senator-elect studied philosophy and theology. Andrew Okia Omtata Okoiti, however, abandoned the seminary for street activism and sprang to the public limelight in January 2008 when he chained himself at Vigilance House Police Headquarters in what he termed a protest of justice. In the advent of the 2010 Constitution, Omtata chose a different path for his pursuit of justice, the courts. Claiming that lawyers were too expensive to retain, Omtata chose to, under the tutelage of lawyers such as Charles Kanjama and Kibe Mungai, draft, file and argue his cases, some of which 10 years later he has lost and some won. Few non-lawyers have been successful in that path, among them the late Albert Gasheru, a Kikuyu Benga maestro who had to eventually study law to fight music pirates by himself. But before this week, no non-lawyer had taken the stage in the country's topmost court to argue his case. This until Okia Omtata happened. And since figures don't lie, and if the math doesn't add up, then this court should quash the results. Well, that is a feather he will definitely be adding to his cap. He might, just might, add another on Monday should the Supreme Court nullify the presidential election. And then he will have become the first non-lawyer to have participated in the nullification of a presidential election, making history twice in a span of just five days. David Muthoka, KTN News, Nairobi. Definitely a trailblazer in his own right. Away from that, hundreds of motorists plying the Nairobi-Nakuru Highway spent the